on my tracks birth certificate. That was my name. <laughs> What's up? Oh. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm with a Y. It is with a Y. Thank you. I was not expecting all of you to be looking at me at the exact same time. <laughs> Holy shit. If you, I, I don't know what I was expecting really. I guess I thought this may be talking amongst yourselves, but um, wow. If you could just not make eye contact with me, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much. So, with that being said, uh, ladies, ladies, who's drinking tonight? Yeah! Awesome. I don't have a joke for that. I just want to know which one of you is going to be drunk enough to fuck me after the show. You, all of you. I will take all of you on, and that guy. The guy in the middle. You. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Um, okay. Uh, this is supposed to be a stand-up comedy routine. But if it's not funny, it's a spoken word poetry jam. So, either way, you're disappointed. Thank you. Uh, oh my god, I'm so tipsy right now. This is awesome. Um, what, was the, what was the next joke on my list? Um, right. Any of you guys ever seen Two Girls, One Cup? Yeah! Woo! Oh my god! Yes! Yes! What a piece of shit that was! <laughs> if any of you guys don't know what that is, two girls are shitting into a cup, and then eating it, and then regurgitating it into each other's mouths, and then they eat it again. That's why is funny. Thank you. Uh, clap. You do clap. Clap for me. Yeah. I clap, but I'm recording you. Pat on the back because I'm so awesome. Um. So. Oh God. This is nice carpeting. This is very nice carpeting. It's like Persian. If I knew what that meant. I think it's Iranian carpet now, isn't it? Because it's not longer Persian anymore. It's Iranian. For those of you who know geography. Um, so anyway. Uh, so I have a problem with the internet. And uh, that being, I have a problem with like eHarmony and like Match.com. You know what I mean? You know those sites? So what it is, I'll break it down for you. For those who don't know. What it is, is you answer a survey. And then survey they match you up with somebody who answered exactly the same way you did which is fucking stupid okay because nobody like I'm the last person that I want to be paired up with ever in any situation okay I'll give you a breakdown of why I don't want to be paired up with myself one all right I'm socially awkward two OCD I am um, a chronic masturbator super chronic like right now I would jerk it now if you guys Whatever, let's do it. Fuck it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> three, also, wait, wait, that was it. Um, uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, I'm the last person I want to be with, paired with. You know what they should do? They should take the two sites, eHarmonyMatch.com, they should merge them together, and then call it what it truly is. GoFuckYourself.com. That's what it is. You're fucking yourself because I'm pairing you with somebody exactly like you. You, yeah, that went well. That one went really well. Um, let's see. What else do I've got in store for you, you jackals? Uh, oh my god. Uh, how about this weather? This is me stalling. How about this weather? Yeah! Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, oh man. So, okay. I have a problem with Facebook and MySpace as well. I'm a very internet savvy person. I like the internet. I use it. It's awesome. So, okay. Facebook and MySpace. Okay. Uh, they have this thing where you can go online and then you can find somebody while you're online and talk to them. Like it's totally cool. Which is fucking bullshit. 
bullshit. It's terrible. I don't want to talk to somebody on the spot like that, making small talk when I was younger. Here's a Facebook and MySpace post. You sent a message. Hey man, are we still friends? They sent one back. Yeah. Okay, we're still friends. That's awesome. I don't have to put any forth effort at all. That's great. Now, like, I go on just to check my inbox. Maybe a girl showed me her titties. I doubt it. That probably didn't happen. Maybe they mixed it up. I, I doubt it. I mean, it's probably it's slim to none, really. But uh, maybe they accidentally got the wrong brand and it showed me their titties. So I check my inbox. And, uh, turns out, like, this dude just starts talking to me, making small talk. Like, oh, you know, it's got to the point where I will say things really inappropriate in order for them to stop talking to me ever. Not just socially, in a social networking way, just like ever in ever. So they're always like, uh, oh, hey, Brian, what's going on? And I'm like, uh, shit, I don't want to talk to you. So I just go, uh, nothing much, man. Uh, what, are you, what are you wearing? And then they're just kind of like, and it takes them like a good 45 seconds to like a minute to really comprehend the fact that I asked them that. And then they finally say, uh, uh, jeans and a t-shirt, why? That's the brave person. Like, usually they don't answer, but that's the brave guy. And I just answer, uh, I guess I go like, you know, uh, that's, ooh, that's nice. Can you see through that? <laughs> That was a terrible pun. That was awful. That was bad. Listen to that guy. He knows what's up. This is bad. Um, it was going okay in the beginning. I thought I lost you guys in a little bit, though. Um, yeah. Actually, you know what? The thing about it, that's like kind of my whole set. So, I have no idea what I'm going to do. How much, do I have any time? Like a set time? I can go. I can leave now? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for putting up with my shit. Thank you. Good night.